Hello, everybody. I'm Enchanted Moon, and welcome to my channel. I got this in the mail today. I just wanted to share the plastic uh, outer envelope, I guess you would call it. It does say it's white and pink, and it says thanks all over it, which I thought was cute. The other side has my address, so I'm not going to show you that part, but I thought you would get a kick out of that. And it's the Intentional Witch. Very pretty. I love, I must say, I love these boxes. They are so pretty. So, like that. Um, this is March's box. Now, with the Intentional Witch, you get to pick your own intentions. Um, I think you get to pick out of, like, three, I guess. I don't recall which one I picked. But it's always a surprise to me to remember what I picked. Very pretty. I like that. I like when you get a little thank you. And I have a little something on top here. Ooh, what is this? To me... That looks like a coffin shape upside down. That's pretty cool. What is this? This is nice. I like it. What do we have? Yeah. It, to me, it definitely looks like that. I don't know if it's meant to be like that, but it definitely looks like it. It's definitely black. Um, I'm not sure. It's got some little white in it. So I'm not sure what the stone is, but I'm sure. Hopefully it'll tell us inside. And it has like a black leather chain here. That is very nice. Very nice. And we have a thank you card here. And I just wanted to share if we have... Ooh. We got brown paper here, and it has a thank you with red roses, which is cute. It kind of blends nice with the box. All right, thank you. Cute little thank you card. Ah, oh, very nice. It's a little thank you card for continuing her box, which is very nice to do. And she included this as a free gift. And this is black tourmaline. I like black tourmaline because that's an awesome protective uh, stone. And I really like that. So I'm excited that that's black tourmaline. Really good. I like that a lot. So we have that. Very cute. Always nice to get appreciated. And I want to ruin that pretty, pretty sticker. Okay, I picked the grounding theme. So that's the theme I picked. And we have it on this nice brown. Ooh. Look at shadow paper. It's really nice. I like that. I will share this last because I'm sure this is going to contain the spoilers and I do not want to jump into that. So, we will leave these information for last. Okay, put that on the side. So we got our brown paper. And we have... Grounding Myrrh Incense Sticks. Um, it says, I am guided and grounded perfectly and firmly by the earth and my highest self. And there's like quite a few in here. I'm going to guess there is two, 10, 10 sticks.
Okay. Um, let's see what we have. The first thing I'm going to grab is we have our candle. Um, again, it has the pretty flower wrapped with the pentacle charm on there, which is nice. It says grounding. My energy is centered and grounded and focused. Big silver candle. Ooh, look at the pretty in here. Lots of nice herbs and crystals in here. Ooh, that smells good. Hello, doggy. She's sneezing. My doggy is sneezing. This smells really, really nice. Actually, like a nice calming. Kind of like a baby powder to me, honestly. Which would calm me. So, very, very nice. We have a white sachet. What looks like the return of the sun. Charm there. And we have, it looks like information on grounding. Essential oil blend is patchouli for balancing effect on emotion. Cedar wood for comforting, grounding, and connects us to the earthly forces. And sandalwood for grounding, soothing, and calming. This is, I can't find how to open this one. This one's tip pretty good. <laughs> All right. No clue. Wait, I think I found it. Nope. Okay. There we go. Oh my goodness, this is so hard to open. All right. Nope, didn't get it. Try one more time. Well, at least we know they wrap it really good so it doesn't explode in shipping. Oh my goodness. 20 minutes later, oh, finally opened it. Grounding essential oil blend. And it looks like we have some tiger's eye in there. Lots of tiger's eye chips. Not a couple, a lot. I wonder what that smells like. Patchouli, cedarwood, and sandalwood. I like patchouli and sandalwood mixed. <sighs> mm, definitely smell patchouli in there. It's nice. It has a nice smell to it. What else do we have? We have a white um, cotton sachet. These are good to use for your herbs in the shower so they don't get all over the tub. Ooh, wow. I don't know. It's beautiful. It's rough on one side here. And looks like polished there. To me, offhand, it looks like blue goldstone. But I don't know. It's freaking fabulous. I love that. It looks like the sky. Wow. Ooh. It's tingling my hand. Wow, that's nice. Very, very nice. Like that. We have a little purple velvet bag. Looks like we have more crystals in here. Yeah, we do. We have this guy here. And this guy. Very cool, but no, no idea on what this is. Does that light help? No, right? Is that? Well, there, maybe that helps. And then you can see this one. Right? Very cool. Maybe you can see this one better, too. Oh my God, there's another stone. It's huge. 
brown sachet and we have another big crystal. So we have a lot of crystals. One, two, three, four. This is huge. Whoa, I don't know what that is, but it's very big. That is very, very nice. I have no idea. We have a couple more items left in here. Okay, we have another sachet here, blue. I don't need to know what's in here. Looks like we have an oil. Okay. All right, I'm not even gonna play around with this. This is really in there. So we're gonna this. <laughs> I need a new razor blade. This must be really dull. Because I can't even open the stick quickly. We have Elemental Earth Oil. This is a one ounce jar. This is big. And it's got some herbs in there. I can hear my dog. <laughs> my husband yelling at the dog. Um... Yeah, let me close the door because Lisa's going to say, shut up. She probably wants a treat. And when she barks, she goes, Daddy, I want a treat. And he'll say, stop barking, shut up. And then he'll give her a treat. Oh, not sure. Ooh. I don't know what that is. It's not one of my favorite scents. For sure. Now it's on me. Um, it's really earthy, that's for sure. But I forget what that is. It's not one of my favorite scents. Um, my nose is clogged too, so. I don't know. I will let you know what that is. I'm 100% sure it's perfect for the earth. But not something you would want to wear as a perfume. You definitely want to put that like on a candle oh, or your tools or something. All right. And then we have this item here, which I have no idea what this is. Let's see. Oh, we got a green man wand. Now that is cool. Nice. Very cool. I like that. Very nice. And, all right, let's go over this and see what we got. All right. We got this book of shadow sheet here. And it says, hematite grounding spell to release your troubles into the earth. Hematite is an all-purpose grounding and energy balanced in stone. Um, I don't see hematite here, so I'm not. I don't understand. Choose a hematite stone, or maybe just this is just for any hematite that you have. I guess choose a hematite stone that you are attracted to in a quiet place. Tell it all your troubles one by one, no matter how long it takes. Explain each trouble or problem that you have. Thoroughly and clearly. When you are finished, bury the hematite somewhere away from your home. This will shrink your troubles and relieve your problems as earth neutralizes the negativity you have placed into the stone. So this is just a nice, I'm assuming, spell to have. Which is nice because definitely hematite is a grounding stone. I'm loving these papers this month. They're very witchy and aged. I like that. Okay. Grounding Intentional Candle. Oops. Sorry, guys. That will wake everybody up. Our grounding candle here is help yourself to the most 
to more content. Use our grounding intention candle to bring clean energy back into yourself and help heal your connection with the earth. Settle the ground beneath your feet with this candle that has been handcrafted with love and intention. You can deepen your intention by slowly, by slowing down and embracing calm. It was created in brown, the color of earth, with a crackling wood wick to focus your thoughts and with a smoky quartz healing crystal to promote calmness and garnet gemstones chips to help with balance. It has been infused with sandalwood, rosemary, and other grounding focused ingredients to help set your intention and ground your mind and body. Remember that although this candle is poured with the intention setting rich in poured with intention setting ritual, your intention is what gives the candle its power for best results. As you burn it, keep it near you and keep your intention and energy focused on grounding yourself power of intention comes from within you absolutely i tell my customers that all the time even though the candle might be charged and grounding for grounding it still needs you and your intention to set it off so again i just want to get another look at that candle so we have that then we have our grounding incense here, Mer brings us closer to true self and grounds us in our own truth. Living our truth and being present in each moment is important when we want to ground ourselves. This myrrh incense is perfect for, to use when beginning a grounding ritual or spell, or just when we need to stop and breathe and remember to live in the now. Everything's falling. Okay, this goes over here. Okay. Oh, I'm assuming this is Mookite. Power Stone. The powerful grounding energy of Mookite crystals guides us towards making choices that reflect our hopes, not our fears. Use this crystal to connect with the element of earth power for increasing self-confidence, self-worth, and to realize your full potential. Press a Mookite palm Press a Mookite palm stone against the upper stomach to activate the solar plexus chakra. This, the seat of will and personal power. It, its constant energy keeps us focused and well-grounded while soothing the mind and quieting distracting thoughts. It is, a great, it is a great for focusing on a specific goal or for a motivational boost. I'm assuming this is it, but this is definitely not a palm stone. That is monster size. Then we have the gemstone roller. It has been infused with tiger's eye gemstone chips, infused with sandalwood, patchouli, and cedar wood. Each night before bed, massage three drops into your skin, at your tailbone, and lower back. This is the key point to open your root chakra, a powerful tool to get grounded. I like that idea. Very cool. Grounding crystals, which is fire quartz, which I believe is, I believe this is fire quartz. A beautiful crystal that grounds scattered behaviors and improves focus and connection. Strong stone for grounding when you feel ungrounded or Basie. It stabilizes emotions, heals wounds, removes negativity, and balances uh, or your balances or body balances. I think it, I think there's a mistake. I, I sound stupid when I'm saying it, but it's got to be a mistake. And I make mistakes all the time. But I think it says it stabilizes our emotion, heals old wounds, removes negativity, and balances our body, mind, and spirit. Okay. Then... This one, which is totally different than this one, she's saying is the same thing. Uh, petrified wood. Or is that this? No, that's Mukai. This is petrified wood. This is beautiful. This petrified wood. I like it. 
it's like brown and this is really pretty. Petrified wood is basically fossilized wood that has had its original matter replaced by stone as a de as it decomposes. It is a stone that is good for grounding and stabilizing one's emotion. As an everyday stone, it's a great pick pick up when you need to be more grounded and stay and steadier. I'm assuming that's the this is the moonkite. This is the petrified wood. Because this is not the petrified wood, is it? No, I don't think so. I don't think these are the grounding crystals. Because the way that she has them written here, you would think this is that that's gotta be the moonkite and the, the little crystals are gotta be the fire quartz and petrified wood, I'm assuming. Then we have the Green Man Wand. The Green Man is the legendary pagan god who roams the woodlands. He is usually depicted as the horned man peering out of a mask of foliage, most often the sacred oak. He represents the spirit of vegetation which returns to the earth in spring and flourishes in the summer. In the Green Man, we recognize the mystic earth, energy of the earth. Grounding is the process of of connecting with and becoming aware of our physical body and the connection with earth it allows us to siphon access nerve nervous energy into earth while allowing us to access to the limit energy of the earth grounding has an effect of settling the mind and body and allowing yourself to better focus and is considered by many to be the foundation spiritual Foundational spiritual activity. You can see how the green man, being the symbol of earth itself, could aid you in your grounding. Use this wand during grounding spells or rituals, or even just holding it during meditation to allow the spirit of the green man to help you ground yourself. I think that's an awesome item to have been included in the box. And then the elemental earth oil. It's a powerful oil blend that can help you Tap into the rich energy of earth, which is so helpful when you need to ground yourself. The element of earth is often used in rituals or spells that involve security, stability, and grounding. Earth's elemental oil can be worn, anointed on sacred objects or talisman, or put into a bath, or even used as an overall wash for furniture and doors. If you are feeling particularly unsettled or out of sorts, mix the earth elemental oil with sea or kosher salt and place this mixture under your bed at night for seven days. It doesn't say what's in here, unfortunately. So, I, I don't know what to tell you that smell I'm smelling is. I don't know. I'll have to ask you what, what's in this. So just so we know, because it's not listed there. And then the grounding spell she has here, she included. This is a super easy spell for grounding, releasing your energy and troubles back to the earth. All you need is a bit of alone time outside, if you can, and a hematite crystal. We have included that for you. We've included that for you. So all you really need is time and space. This is not hematite. This is definitely blue goldstone. So, I guess she put the wrong stone in here. Because um, this spell is, if I have to use it, this is definitely not the right stone. If you cannot get outside, if you cannot get outside or if it's way too cold or hot, you can always do this anywhere. But please find it much easier to ground yourself, ground myself outside. Okay. Overall, I like the box. I like it for grounding. I like that it doesn't have this bath salts again. I like things changing. I absolutely do. So I am thrilled that there is a a, a ritual or, or an altar tool in here. I like that. Um, and I like the, the candles are awesome. I absolutely love them. Crystals are really nice. I think overall, this is a pretty awesome box, considering um, this is only my third, I think. So I do, I like the candle, I like the oil for the grounding, I like that there's a spell, 
So there always should be a spell to do with your intention. Um, so this is a cute, easy spell she included. But the only thing is this is not the right stone. This is definitely not hematite. So, I'll, you know, I message her and see what happened on accident. I guess I got the wrong stone. Um, it happens. Um, and this is definitely fire quartz. Um, this is supposed to be petrified wood. Um, let me know guys what you think. I mean, it could be, but I don't know. Um, so yeah, overall, <clears throat> excuse me. Overall, I absolutely like the box a lot. I like that we got the spell. I like the intention candle. I like the um, Green Man Mont. So I'm looking forward to seeing her boxes grow and put more altar tools in it, switch it up. I absolutely can't wait. So absolutely awesome. And yeah. Let me know, guys, what you think. As always, I will leave you the information about this box on the bottom. And again, this is March's box. And this box, you can pick any tension you want. So it's definitely geared for your personal touch, which I always think is awesome. Until next time, guys. Be safe. Bye.